So thank you for the backstabs. Hi, everybody. My aunt. My aunt's here. My aunt, Hi, Mama. everybody. Thank you for the backstabs, everybody. Yeah, I just gave her the big pack. The last one I got, I'll have to show you the envelope. Wait, where is it? Look at the return address. I figured out who it was from, but... Some old buzzard, one time at Jimmy Lillard. Yeah, JD sent those. Uh, thank you, JD. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes by My Grandpa. school thanks you. Yeah, a lot of those came from everywhere, all over. People will send me cards, and I'll have a few box top in there. So how was your Christmas? Very good, very fast. Fast? You leave tomorrow, right? I have to go back tomorrow. You going early? Late? Uh, morning. Sometime later morning. The weather's supposed to be good. You're getting ready to go see the Christmas lights that you guys have already seen, but they haven't seen them yet. We've heard they're really cool, though. Yeah. Okay. See, I could totally spoil it for you and show you, but I'm not. I appreciate that. <laughs> but I like lights anyway, so. Yeah, I want to go up and see the ones on the bluff sometime this week, because they're up till January 3rd. The bluff, where's that? St. Joe on the bluff, oh. up on top of the, the thing. This man did the same one. This man did the same one. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, I haven't done a video yet today, so I usually get on here babble, and you guys pulled in right when I was getting ready to, when Heidi started having a fit. <laughs> and you tell, she's your welcome committee. And I've never had you, like, as a as a special guest. See, you'll have credits. So you'll be I, like, I, I, I have a live. special guest. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just stay until Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Cool. What else was I going to ask you? She's teaching in a new school this year, and I asked her yesterday how she liked it. Show me the face she gave me. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a big school. It's an, I have I work with the best people in the world, and the kids are awesome. It's just a big, huge it's, school. It's when you come from a school culture that's shock. when you come yeah culture shock. When you come from a school that was 250 max, and you know pretty much everybody and families and kids and things, and you go to a school that's 650, that was meant to be a junior high. That was an intermediate building. It's a culture shock. Where the where the children have bathrooms that are not at the right height, and there's not enough for them. Then it gets to be interesting. So they don't have toilets at their height. Not yeah, and they can't redo that because it's too expensive. So right now they just have to be careful. That's not right. Who wants to go on a potty at the mountain pond beyond? That has to. But they that... claim that they have to do it at home. So. Wow. In time, I guess. Have you had have they had problems with kids having problems? Well, I have. In our wing, the kids are older. Little kids, I think they have to watch more. But the problem is some of the bathrooms are way far down the hall, and you can't be teaching in your room and be monitoring the kids that go down the hall, so you kind of have to trust. So. You still got your lizards? So pray for the first grade and kindergarten teachers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Scratch and stitch. Stitch is in my classroom. Is doing well. And Scratch, our old dog, is at home. Our old Bearded Dragon is at home. He's I remember when down. he was this little. He doesn't eat a lot anymore. He only eats, I think he's blind, because he doesn't react to emotion a lot by How his face. now? He's about this big. Oh, yeah. And he's he has bulgy eyes, and I'm not sure what that means, but he's uh, evidently, the pet shop said, you know, pretty old for uh, yeah, Bearded Dragon. Yeah, he had for a long time. So it must have done something right, but I, I have to feed him by hand little slices of apple, and he only eats when I feed him by hand. I can put a plate full in front of him, and he won't eat it. But if I feed him by hand, Touch his mouth with it? Yeah. He'll eat it. So I, I worry about Does him. Does he still eat crickets? No, just apple. Just so the thing I can find to get him to eat. The other one will eat anything. Huh. Uh, you know it's going to get 40 in the 40s by Wednesday? I heard about that. But I heard at your grandma's house on the news that New Year's Day night, it's supposed, be bad news. <laughs> it's supposed to be colder. <laughs> so be careful. Watch out for ice. I like the. I heard it's like up to like forty five, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty warm. See, because I only have to work Monday and Tuesday, so I'm hoping either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, Dad and I can take a road trip up to Grand Rapids to go see our friends who live up there. That'd be cool. Yeah, because I got presents to take up. And have you ever had pizza from a place called Andrea's? No. Andrea's where? It's in up near their house. Uh, they, near Grand Rapids. Okay. Yeah, Grand Rapids. No. But there's so many places in Grand Rapids, it's not funny. Oh. Well, yeah, I was trying to find, I was on Google Maps, and I tried to find a place that was near them that would deliver pizza that sounded good, that wasn't like, you know. Whereabouts? Is oh, oh, we're going to go, and I'm going to show them, I'm going to show our map. So goodbye, everybody. I just want to say, this is my Aunt Hi. Donna.